In this video, we're going to take you through configuring your Netcom EWAN modem. The first thing you're going to need is one of these. Make sure it's plugged into the wall and the power is on. You should see a solid green light for the power icon. Plug in the Ethernet cable from the WAN port on the modem router to optical network terminal or network termination device or fiber box. The port might also be labeled as LAN slash WAN, WAN slash LAN 4 or Internet. Underneath the modem is the SSID and Wi-Fi password. Use this to locate the Wi-Fi name on your computer and then join the network. Now, don't worry. When you successfully join the network, it will say no internet secured. This is because we haven't configured or set it up yet. Open the internet, browse on your computer or phone and type in 192.168.1.1. You can also check the bottom of the modem for the correct IP address if that doesn't work. You'll be prompted for a username and password. Ready for it? Username in lowercase is admin. Password in lowercase is admin. You can also check the bottom of the modem. In fact, when in doubt, that's the best place to look. Once logged in, if this is a first time configuration for the modem, it will open this window. Select yes, start the setup wizard. Now complete the following. Set internet services to ethernet WAN. Set connection type to dynamic IP. Leave VLAN unchecked or enter zero only if it prompts you to enter a value and keep all other options blank. Click Next. You can personalize the Wi-Fi, VoIP, or many other settings of your modem as per your need in the next set of windows. Apply Next until you proceed to the Summary window. Then click Finish and save the settings. Your modem should go online within two to four minutes. Please test the service once done.